जय श्री कृष्ण भीमा तीर निवासाय पंडरीपुरवासी ने पांडुरंग प्रकाशाय विठलाय नमो नम नेशनल एफिशिएंसी इज कंसर्न हिज टावरिंग देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट द्रोणाचार्य सेज यू आर द बेस्ट डिसिपल आई हैव क्रिएटेड इन द वर्ल्ड अर्जुन देयर विल नॉट बी एनीवन सुपीरियर टू यू यू कैन से इन योर जनरेशन यू आर द बेस्ट to a particular student you can't say you're the best of among all my students in posterity to come dronacharya says nobody in the world will be equal to you i have taught you so much that is arjuna that is arjuna arjuna who is an unparalleled warrior non pareil archer brave and courageous unallied hero himself an army when he comes on to draupadi swayamvara he has got large shoulders long arms a royal demeanor and a regal gait as he walks towards the bow draupadi's heart is beating fast he looks like arjuna but is clad like a brahmin who could it be her heart is beating fast he's got the physique of arjuna but the garb of a, the garment of a brahmin she doesn't know it is arjuna in ga- in the garment of a brahmin everybody says this are these are not the limbs of a brahmin the brahmin looks generally satvik a man who belongs to a profession of kshatriya must have a different physique you know the way he comes in uniform you know who he is my dear listeners the kshatriya was born to rule the lord gives him that personality and who is arjuna now coming on to the battlefield he is confident first as soon as he enters the battlefield he is confident the lord has his own mischief he knows how to make this confidence into diffidence dharma kshetra ekuru kshetra has an important importance which we have to recognize what happens when he comes on to the battlefield like a, any professional issuing orders all professionals issue orders all professionals know they are going to be obeyed but they don't know there is someone else whom they have to obey in the case of arjuna the professional is now guided by the protector of the world he doesn't know that the one who is driving his chariot he is the ultimate authority and all authority has to bow down before him अथ व्यवस्थिता दृष्ट्वा धार्तराष्ट्रा कपिध्वज प्रवृत्ते शस्त्र संपाते धनुद्यम य पांडव धनुद्यम य पांडव I hope you know Arjuna can fight with both hands he is an ambidextrous warrior and he has got two quivers and both the quivers have a boon that they will never be empty how do you like that akshaya sayako they are akshaya akshaya tushni they are on either side is got so from both the hands with both the hands he can take arrows with both the hands he can shoot even shooting with one hand is difficult and shooting it correctly is more difficult imagine with both the hands so everything is ready he is all set for professional performance it is at that time something happens krishna knows when to strike and krishna strikes when you are most vulnerable and when are you most vulnerable when you are proud when you are professionally proud cry halt tell the heart you are just one of the billions created by the master that you come and go and you're heard no more if he gives you importance he has made you importance we are dust nothing before him the tallest and the greatest and the bravest and the most talented are nothing before the lord my master is everything the glory of the gita is to teach arjuna the glory of the lord to make us understand to make us understand who the lord is talking about the gita i said what does the gita do it makes god put man in his place and make man realize god's place in his life krishna gita is not a sermon it's a song it goes unobtrusively into our life and changes our entire being the upanishads are dry intellectual exercises here is krishna in first person singular the master of the upanishads speaking to you no singing to you his way into your heart into your soul and the song enters unobtrusively it is understood by you it is felt by you it's experienced by you it becomes an ecstasy within you when you realize that man is put in his place and realizes what god's place is in his life shri krishna has now come to tell arjuna when he enters the battlefield he is prepared to fight the professional confidence has prepared him for a martial feat he is normal as a warrior why super normal too all preparations for war have been mentally and physically made there is nothing lacking on either side they are fully prepared for war what happens thereafter is interesting dhritarashtra is worried 
about his sons and Pandu's sons. Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva. The former fade into insignificance and the latter become important in Sanjaya's narration. The entire Gita is about the Pandavas. No, 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 not about the Pandavas, the hero among the Pandavas. Pandavanam Dhananjaya. I hope you realize the entire battlefield is filled with Kauravas and Pandavas. Kauravas fade into insignificance. Pandavas are highlighted. Among the Pandavas, Arjuna is highlighted. That is how Arjuna emanates as the center point for, Arju for Krishna's sermon. It is an 18-day battle which is going to take place. It's a physical battle. A martial feat is expected of heroes. It is in this context, all of a sudden, Arjuna has a dharmic dilemma. The emphasis shifts to another battle. That's where my title is relevant. The two battles. There's a battle without and a battle within. You will agree with me. All great wars were first fought in the mind of man, planned in the mind of man, and thereafter were fought on the battlefield. Either you drop bombs from the sky or shoot arrows on the ground. It's the same. The military plan has already taken place in the mind. If you want to establish peace, you can't establish peace from without. You have to generate peace from within.